I always talk about when I was when I was in grad school. I I used to have to take all these. I was getting my I was getting my second degree in biology, my second one in human biology, and um <clears throat> and I had to take all these freaking plant botany courses. You had to study plants, which I hated, but you have to do it. And but what stood out to me was it doesn't matter what goes wrong in a plant, the leaf, the root, stem of a plant. If you call a true botanist, a true arborist, out to your house, and let's say you got leaves rotten in the top of your palm tree, they won't touch the leaf of the palm tree. They will core test the soil. And they'll go, oh, you know what? There's no nitrogen in this soil. And then they'll add nitrogen to the soil and the leaf will heal, right? But this human beings are no different, right? You have to find out what you're deficient in, which you can test for with a gene test. Once you find that deficiency, you supplement for that deficiency, it's like, bang, holy shit, man. I thought I, thought I was affected by anxiety. Mm. You didn't have anxiety. You had poor catecholamine regulation because your body was deficient in methylfolate or B vitamins. You put those into your body and your anxiety is yeah, gone. That's so now that's one anchor up off the ground. And then you're like, man, I sleep like shit. Well, you don't have a sleep disorder. You know, you have a lack of magnesium, lack of theanine. You know, there you, you might even lack methionine. So you you put those raw materials back in the human body. Now all of a sudden the mind quiets and you start to sleep better. 